Welcome on my channel where we learn Photoshop and retouching. Today I'm going to show you how to brighten up, how to improve eyes in the Lightroom Classic CC. It doesn't really matter because uh, this tip can be used in every Lightroom version. So if you have older version, that's not an issue. Also, I want to remind you that my premium courses on Skillshare available for two months for free it's over 50 hours of premium co content retouching courses photography for photographers so just hit to the go to the description hit the links and enjoy the premium courses for free for two months and i'm going to show you this simple tip this image was done by ariel grabowski for one of my retouching courses so once again if you get the course you will have the uh, image to practice for free. And I want to show you how to improve the eyes. This is the tip that is often skipped in the Lightroom. In Lightroom, most of the people do some raw conversion, some general adjustments for the landscapes. But for people who retouch, who process the images only in Lightroom, that could be very useful tip on how to improve the eyes. You see, we have few of the different panels uh, on the top over here. So we have to go to our brush. So the brush will be the last um, panel visible over here. And what I do at first, uh, before I'm gonna start using uh, the brush, of course, make sure you press new mask. And I'm going to go with highlights to 100. You can go also with exposure very high. But the one reason is to make the visuality of this um, effect applied and what I'm going to do I think I'm gonna zoom this a little bit more to be a little bit more precise and we need to understand the light on uh, the eye so I'm gonna do feather 100 flow maybe doesn't have to be at 100 for the brush settings so as everything is ready let's try to paint over the eye where the light is located. So we can see it starts somewhere here, but ends in this point. So I will try to paint a little bit. Even, don't worry, it's too much now, I understand, but paint as it is with the strong effect here. And also the other eye, I'm gonna paint as the, with the direction of the light here, and that's what we got. It's super strong effect and it's way too strong. We could easily say that it's way too strong. We can even move this. I will try to adjust this. I hope I adjusted this in the right way after all. Yeah, that was how we were painting. And after it's done, the effect looks obviously too strong. And why it looks that strong? Because I put the highlights at 100 at the very beginning. And the reason is why I put this light to 100 at the very beginning was only to see the effect I'm going to apply. If you would not add this, you, you would basically not know where you're applying the effect. And thanks to this, you know what are you doing. Also the exposure. Um, which affected this much more. Uh, so mainly we'll be working here with exposure. So therefore now we can highlights go down. You could also manipulate just with exposure, which should be enough. And now we can easily see the before and after. Before, after, as you can see, I can zoom this out, also see before after. I think the effect is just on point now, maybe a little too much, so even a little bit less because we want the eyes to be still very natural as you can see. So you don't want to create this weird eyes, this uh, creepy zombie eyes, but you want them um, to look really natural. From the other things, what we could you could do, you could possibly add some saturation to the eyes to make more color, to add more color. You could add some 
uh, sharpness to the same effect, etc. Um, you could try to play with color, for example, lowering the temperature because um, the model has blue eyes, so the lowering temperature automatically is going to add some of the blue color to the eyes, so the color will be strong and more uh, visible. This is my tip how I uh, do this in the Lightroom. Uh, once again, to remind you, check the links in the description and soon I'm going to talk to you with something new uh, here on YouTube because next month are actually the plans for a totally new series uh, with my courses and my videos on YouTube and I will speak to you about this very soon.